हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक ऑफ फाइल सिस्टम मैनेजमेंट इन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो इन दिस इंटायर ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ फाइल सिस्टम मैनेजमेंट वी विल सी डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स एज पर द सिलेबस एंड इट इज अ थियोटिकल टॉपिक सो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ शॉर्ट नोट्स ऑल्सो सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विद द फाइल सिस्टम मैनेजमेंट इंट्रोडक्शन दैट इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर so what is a file a file is a collection of related information defined by its creator so if i say if i have a file say a.txt and it is created by a user 1 so i can define a.txt as a collection of related information defined by this creator user 1 and this file can contain information like personal details personal details of the user or account details etc so this is a file it is a one example of file there can be any type of file created by the user in general file is a sequence of bits bytes lines or records so if i say for example a.txt so a.txt may look like this name user1 and so on so this is a sequence of lines similarly you can have a sequence of bits bytes and records so this is a basic introduction of file that file is a collection of related information created by its user now there are different types of files some of the example of file types are text file source file and object file now what is a text file as you all know text file is a sequence of characters organized into lines so text file is a sequence of characters organized into lines for example this is a text file in which the characters n a m e and so on are organized into lines so this is a simple text file then we have a source file source file is a sequence of source file is a sequence of subroutines or functions subroutines or functions which are executable and are defined to work a specific task so if i say if i have a source file say a and this source file contains two functions f1 and f2 and f1 is calling function f2 in the source file now if i open this source file which is an executable file this function will automatically called and in the middle of this function in or in the any sequence of this function f2 function will be called so source file contains sequence of subroutines or functions which are executable and are designed to do some specific task then the next type of file is a object file this is a collection of words this is a collection of words organized into loader record blocks so object file is a collection of words which is organized into loader record block now as you all know that whenever a function a subroutine or any task has to be performed there is some loader which gets called and there are certain properties certain aspects of the function or the subroutines which needs to be initialized so generally those properties those uh, factors we initialize in this object file so these are some of the example of file types now there are different attributes of any file we are going to study those attributes what are attributes first so at attributes are the parameters 
which are used to keep track of file in a operating system so basically these are some of the properties of the file which are used to keep the log of the file in a operating system or record to keep the track of the file in the operating system so some of the attributes are name so name is a human readable form is in human readable form and as per the attribute name it is clear that it contains the name of the file so basically it is the file name and for example a is the file name now second we have the identifier it is a unique id or the unique target you can say the unique id generally represented by numbers generally represented by numbers and identifies the file within a collection of all the files of the operating system so for example if the id for a is 1 2 3 so this is the id for the file a that is your identifier now type it specify the type of file so it is the file type basically so for example if the file type of a is txt so now i have the information that there is a file in an operating system with the name a having identifier 1 2 3 is of type text then the fourth attribute is the location it is a pointer it is a pointer to a device and location of file on the device so this parameter this attribute is telling the operating system that at which location at which device the file is stored then we have the size it is a current size of the file it is a current size of the file so if i say 1024 kb so i have a information about file a having size 1024 kb then the protection protection is the access control information it is the access control information now if i have a access control information like say this is the file name and this is user and this is read or write access so if i have a file user u1 read so from this parameter i am getting the information that file a can be read by user u1 so it means that user u1 cannot write this file a but it can read the file a so like this you can have different access control information about a file then the time and date this is the information which is used to maintain a log that when the file is created so creation modification when the file is modified or deletion so when the file is deleted so it keeps information about the time and date at which at which this operations are performed on a file specified then we have the user id it is a user identification so user id is nothing but a user identification which is used to give a unique id to the user or creator of the file so these are some of the attributes so whenever a question comes you can take an example of single file and mention all the attributes in a tabular format that will be more presentable and you will get more marks in that way then there are different operations on the file so we have file operations the next topic it is very simple first is the creating a file so to create a file you need to have two steps one is you have to found the space in the system so there has to be space in the file system in which you can create your new file 
then you have to made an entry of the new file so once the space is found you have to create a new file and enter that file in the file system so this is creating a file then we have write file so to write a file you have to make a system call both by specifying the name of the file and the information to be written to the file so if i have to write for example in file a so i can call a system call for example like this right a comma abc now this is just an example this is not exactly the right system call i am just taking an example that if it is a system call right it is telling me that i have to write to file a and the content that needs to be done is abc so that is your writing a file then reading a file now to read a file a system call specifying the file name and when the next block of the file should be put in the memory so if i have to read file a i have to issue a system call like this read and a then simply i can read the file a and i also have to mention that the next pointer to the location of the next block of the file a when it needs to be loaded after that we have repositioning of the file repositioning does not involve any actual input output operation this operation is also known as file seek so basically if i have to search a file then i have to use repositioning a file it is a file seek deleting a file means deleting the file from the file system entry so delete file from entry of the file system now last is truncating a file by truncating the it means that the user may want to erase the contents of the file but still it wants to keep the attributes with hold so if i have to do that i do not delete a file i rather truncate a file so truncating a file means deleting only contents deleting only contents so this is about the introduction of file system management in operating system we have seen the definition of file some example of file types then file attributes and file operations thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more such tutorials thank you